I know it works, and I know these kids are safe out there, and, they, and, and they're loved. The staff are very passionate about what they do out there with them. I, I've seen that over and over again. It's got to be about having a passion for, for this work. And, and for me too, I, I love these kids and I've learned this is something that I can make a difference in their lives and their families' lives. I think one of the greatest uh, things that I, I see with these kids is that change that happens really quickly in the wilderness. And I've learned that I have the ability to connect with these kids and be able to help them, even some of the more difficult ones that I've had to deal with. I really love the philosophy of working with these kids and building relationships to motivate them. And I've seen the power of that. We're not using punishment or reward, and we teach the, the parents the same thing. So by the time those kids leave here, the parents have completed their treatment as well. I had a family that I worked with that felt so helpless with him, and he was wanting to be emancipated when he first showed up here in this, this office. And uh, yesterday on the phone with them, they, they were telling me, oh, you don't know how hopeless and helpless we felt. And now we feel like there's hope. We feel like we know where he's going. He's going to, to get the, the help that he needs. He didn't go home, but and he needed more help. That was another thing that was rewarding for me, is just to be able to hear that from her, the mom and the dad. Yeah, it's so awesome to see that. You know, maintaining it after they get out, you know, that's, that's the challenge, but you know, I think, you know, there's things we can do to help these parents so they're not just feeling like that they're still alone. And, and that, that's another good part about the program is that we can, we can tell them, okay, this is what this kid needs to be able to continue to be successful. Resilience and adversity is like the, the higher powers university. And I see these kids out there and, and I know that those experiences, though they're hard for them, if they can just change their mindset and see it as an opportunity for them to grow, there's so much that they can take away from this experience. I went to a place called Biosphere where they have these you know, trees and plants and people that actually lived in there and the trees were not doing so well and they found out that because the trees they had in there didn't have stress bark, that's why they were failing and so they built in a natural wind so they would develop that. I look at um, these kids out there and they're developing that, that stress bark out there. They may not know it or appreciate it, but I do know and I have confidence in the fact that they can look back on this experience and, and use it to help them to be able to be more, more resilient. Seeing how when you take all the distractions in life away, when you're able to help them to see themselves. I think that's, and, and be present in the world, something they get from the wilderness. There's some very powerful things that can happen over the course of a short time out here.